Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make your own 3D scenes using Dungeon Draw directly inside Foundry. We're going to start by making a relatively smaller map. I don't need a huge one for 3D. I don't want a huge one. I'm going to focus more of like an encounter that I want to build. I'm going to import uh, and I'm linking to this file. These are the themes that you need, the height map themes that I designed for you to be able to do this uh, in Dungeon Draw. So you have to import those themes and then I'm just going to draw a basic room, right? So I'm going to use the standard Dungeon Draw components. I'm even using the standard theme at the moment to just to kind of block out a room. I'm going to do this really quick and dirty, right? But this is essentially the idea is there's going to be a little hallway that leads into this larger room. And that's going to be where the encounter occurs. And I'll add doors and other props later. I just want the basic layout in 3D here. Now I'm going to pick the height map below ground. That means that these black walls are, are, are going to be all block at the top and the white is going to be the depressed part. And then I'm going to switch to my theme painter and I'm going to paint with these different levels. So what it's going to do is it's going to take different gradations of gray, which when it becomes a height map will decide how high it goes, right? So I've got now what I call the 15 foot gradation that's going to be darker. So it's going to be higher up, right? And now I want to have a kind of a step uh, up to that. So I'm going to pick the 10 foot gradation and have that. Uh, go that way and then i'll pick the five foot here it's not like it's actually five or ten feet it's just the relative distance to the, you know the top of the uh, the walls and so this is essentially what this floor plan is going to be like and now what i'm going to do and by the way there's a bunch of things going on here uh, i'm exporting it here by the way into an image um, i'm even using the the shading to of the wall to make it a little bit rounded at the top so i'm going to get rid of the walls that were generated by dungeon draw and i'm going to drop in a uh, a flat plane shader from uh ripper's 3d canvas uh, module and then i'm going to assign that image that i that i generated from dungeon draw i'm going to assign it as the height map to this shader and i'm going to give it a little bit of texture in this case i'm going to pick this brick texture and then we're going to go ahead and just make it repeat a little bit and we're going to stretch that tile to the the width of the thing and then i had to actually refresh my scene so that i could get it to generate and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to attenuate this up scale it up so i can see if i like my layout and then i'm going to apply this shader it's triplanar mapping and what it does is it just makes the texture wrap nicely around the walls instead of stretching across the walls. And there we go. I've got a three-dimensional space that I just designed in a couple of seconds inside of Foundry. And then I can uh, drop in all of my components, my props that are um, I've made available elsewhere, and you've got your own 3D space you just created.